Oh. Ma carry my daughter. Go do a shower things. Come give you the money. You know if you carry on, go take and do the same thing. Ma do. Oh, all right. Glamour Girls is like Blackberry Bibs. If Blackberry Bibs was about a Nokia phone. <laughs> yep. That's how we're starting this video, guys. I dare you to ask any Nigerian if they have ever seen Glamour Girls. Believe me, they will start mentioning movies that were made at that time. They will definitely mention living in bondage because as Nigerians, that is the only old movie we have. Then they will say for you to better understand and enjoy the new version of Glamour Girls, you need to see the original Glamour Girls. Unfollow them immediately. No one saw that movie. It's just a thing people say for Twitter points. You think I would watch this? Anita has been having this sizzling romance with your husband. That is not the main issue. The issue is that they are now married and they are living together in the same house. Jacqueline. You can be serious. Glamour Girls 2022 is out and it's about girls who use their body to get what they want. And when you hear girls, you know I'm going to be there. Play the sexy intro. I have to drop. I'm calling from a friend's office. Bye. The movie first starts with this scene that looks like it's an extension of Skinny Girl in Transit just after the guy slapped my wife. Remember? <laughs> oh, I also will be calling her Shaliwa because this is my channel. So this guy went to the strip club and lost his wedding ring but we all know that he never had it on him i know that trick my g i'm planning on using it soon his bodyguard aka woman beta or zurumbai i don't know what they call him goes to look for it on shaliwa's body and he used this opportunity to tap current and after having a good time on my babe's body he pulls out the ring from where this is my client will be very happy to get his ring back please sir i am Sorry, this does not happen. But I love this scene not because of this conversation here, but the people behind. Why are they shocked for this long? This should actually be a record. The most shocked background characters in a movie for a certain period, long period of, you know what I mean guys. But in her new unemployment status, she decides to join this agency run by a lady called Donna. And she got this information because of this babe, I think. So Donna is a pimp and she's very good at her job. From the way she talks and the way she looks, it screams elegance. The only flaw she has is how much she loves her drawer. Donna is unimpressed by Shalewa and her friends, and I don't blame her. They dress like the Powerpuff Girls. Academic qualifications. Bachelor's degree, master's degree, if you've been to polytechnic, a higher school certificate. Waiting be your current voluminous. Shalewa refused to go and after a strong speech on how she has slept with everyone in a two mile radius and how her family needs her to make it, she gets Donna to give her a card. This part is blood because I can't show my wife at her lowest point, man. Guys, close your eyes. I begged them to remove this seat, but they chose not to, my wife, man. <laughs> but let's talk about the employees in Donna's company. First, we have Lulu. She is an OG from the front, but new from the back. You watch the movie so you know what I mean. She's married to this man that is a spitting image of every Igbo man in their abroad. What do you want? You're my wife. You're my wife. You're my wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> Then we have this other babe. I don't know her name, but I know you don't know her name also. So we'll call her Timain. You get? You, you get? Guys, it's a blood sisters reference. Yeah, so even though Donna is the overall in the business, she's also doing her duty. Don't get it twisted. She doesn't just sleep with men, random men. She gets contracts from them. Charge what you want. Right. And the uh, 
interior design contract is that why you call me she has a husband slash boy toy all he did for the first 40 minutes was just walk around nobody knew what he was doing in her house but if that doesn't tell you how cold-blooded this babe is she also has like scheduled meet up with the wife of the man she sleeps with and the conversation is mostly civil we both screw chief for what we can get you suck on one ball and I squeeze the other. And just make good and do rubbish. After a while, Shaliwa decides to call Duna because her siblings can't stop nagging about how much they lack in life. And when calling Duna failed, she went to her con conglomerate. Conglom conglomerate. She went to her complex building, guys. And we see Gemma, who is another important character in this movie. She also ruled the streets, another King of Boys reference. But at her peak of stardom, she decides to settle down and be a real woman. I know some people got angry with that last sentence but the bad part of getting married was that her man got sick and she became broke. She became so broke that she's using a Gucci bag that is five seasons old. Ugh, five seasons? Really? Her aim for seeing Donna was to beg for money but Donna doesn't give out free money. No, carry on, go take a She decides to give Shalewa a chance and told Tommy, who is her assistant, to fix her. Okay, because I called him Tommy. I called, <laughs> I called him to Tommy. Okay, but she told Tommy, her assistant, to fix her up. And she went from looking beautiful to be more beautiful. Shaliwa is like a cheat code when it comes to beauty. They also put her in this hostel for girls that do this type of jobs. Let's take a break for a minute, guys. Let's 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 pray. Let's pray to God. Let's take a minute to pray. Okay, back to review. Some weird things happen here and there. Shaliwa slept with Dona's boy toy. At first, he looked like he did not want to do it, but he's a man. He's weak. He's a fool. Doesn't he know she's with me? They go for this party, and everyone was excited. Let's let's pray. Let's pray to God. Let's take a minute to pray. And is she tiptoeing or catwalking? I don't know, guys. Comment down below. I'm confused. Gemma then went back to hustle. Let's let's pray. Let's take a minute to pray. She gets approached by this guy that every girl prays they meet. A guy that is honest. He said this. Can we? Trust me, 90% of the girls who get this would give any guy a slap. But if you are links, you score more than you miss. As this was happening, Woman Beta, also known as Zumimbai, comes in and confesses that he was the one that stole the ring and laughed it off. <laughs> Fool. And can we just say that as a bodyguard, Zorumbai, you have more free time than anyone I know. He then takes her to his boss. Why? I don't know, he's a freelancer at this point, he, he does freelancing jobs. Then his boss ends up liking her because of football and I did not like this part only because we all know 10% of the ladies in the world understand football but when you ask them to explain the offside rule, you reduce that to like 2%. You are watching this now and you know I'm right. Six months pass and Shaliwa is now a boss, she forgot her siblings. No one gives a damn man, I've not even seen their faces. She also got a job as a general manager at Access Bank. Um, I know that bank, it's just around Lekki, like Access. <laughs> you get, it's Axis actually. The joke doesn't make sense because I made a mistake. You get what I mean? Back to the babes that matter the most. This chick gets pregnant. What's her name again? Um, help me, guys, please. Jimmy. Links was able to make Gemma kill her husband. Oxygen cost, so he would understand in heaven. The Netflix pass gets used a lot at this point. They do the nasty everywhere. But this time, with jewelries. So when they're off light, they can see road a little bit. You know, you need that light a little bit. Okay, something ridiculous happened here. So Baba started walking. I got confronted by her man's daughter. And this was bad because this chick was raining down courses left, right, and center. Come on, street walker. You're not even qualified to be in this post. Who put you here? Low life tramp? Whore! Strutting around like you own the place. Or <laughs> <that's your laughs> <own> prostitute. <laughs> Then she went to report her to her father. It's weird. And to my surprise, Baba said this Forget finishing school. I for finished that girl. Ruby Smosy. 
So what uh, would you have me do? And then bend her over my knee and spunk her like a five-year-old? Now, you never told me that you stripped for money before. You never stripped for me before. But in her way of empowering women, the movie sends Shalewa to sleep with the bodyguard, Zubombai, Zurumbi. <laughs> I don't know if this movie is just about fetishes because I am weak at this point. I, I like it, but it's weird, man. Oh, guys, if you got to this point, you did a very good job. Why don't you like this video so other people can see it? Don't stop there. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. Tell your friends. Just copy the link and send it to your group chat. Let everyone watch it. You understand? Okay. Back to the video. So right now, what do we know about the movie? It's a movie made for people with fetish. Lulu's husband caught her sleeping with somebody, but we did not get to see who she was sleeping with. Gemma caught her new man doing something also. We also did not get to see what happened. Turns out that Gemma's man was jamming boys her son. Now I'm sure the movie is supposed to be named Fetish and Pedro. It's a new Telemundo classic. I heard it's thought provoking. She killed him and Dona came to hide his body. They then gave the chair to this lady. A peace offering. Because I don't have furniture in my house. This is beneath my standard. Just because of friendship. Aboki! No, no, leave him, no, no. After that, Dona then goes to meet the OGs. Honestly, if you had seen the first movie as I did, you would know these guys. Oh, oh, what's that? Is that my Twitter handle? Why don't you follow it? I watch old movies like, like living in bondage. But all they said there was she should retrieve the money and give it back because the men they stole the money from are dangerous. And the amount that was missing since the custodian is dead is 10 billion US dollars. Do, do you know how much money is missing? 10 billion dollars. Remember that number because a lot is going to happen to this number. And I also called him a custodian. I don't know if he's bossa or bossri. Uh, you know what I mean now, boss, you also wear the whole money, you know, you know what I mean, guys. Gemma then goes to take her now late boyfriend's chain, since he has all the money inside. At the same time, Zorungbai found a hacker from Naira Land to hack the flash and take out all the money. Oh, I know the hacker is from Naira Land because he chose to sleep with Shalewa instead of taking the money. If that doesn't spit someone from Naira Land forum, I, I don't know what else. Then it turns out that the money wasn't 10 billion, but 21 billion US dollars. See how billions just they fly up and down. 21 billion USD. So as they were arguing if they should steal it or not, from nowhere, bam, the chief comes in with men, a lot of men and one lady, just for inclusion. So don't get confused here because it's about to get a little bit confusing. I had to watch this back to explain it well. So Zurumbai at this point already took a flash thanks to Naira Land, the French tourist. So the flash the chief took was the empty one. Then they found out that the flash was empty and Baba quickly put the flash in Shaliwa's clothes. But he doesn't know that Shaliwa is also prolific in pickpocketing. This is a skill all prostitutes should have. Don't ask me how I know this. Some of them have stolen a lot from me. They then took Zorumbe and it turns out that there was a third flash. How? Honestly, I saw a lot of people getting angry. Where did the flash come from? And it is very easy to answer. This is an anime. And that movie is called <laughs> And it ends with Dona and Shalewa taking six billion. And that was it. What do I think about this movie? It is bad. It is hands down bad. I could name things that they did wrong, but I, you already know it. But I'm not here to bash movies. I'm here to give solution. I think I know what happened. An intent, yes. Some places looked rushed and low-key thought like cut and join. So I think an intent lost some hard drives and they had to make use of what they had. And when you think about it, you start seeing the sense in what I just said. At the end, probably the worst movie to come out in a wild scale for me. And I feel so bad for the actors because I believe they tried their best. The directing and the finishing did not compliment them at all. And that intent 
<laughs> so sad but for the first time i want to do this what do you guys think about this movie comment down below i know it's bad but what do you think just tell me <laughs> and you should have watched the original don't even try to test me please i'm sick with the balls i sneeze you can't die if you owe me cheese because everybody know i work for this i know you're gonna try go police so they can say go on your knees i ain't a bitch can't suck you're gonna have to accept defeat you ain't even all that tough that tough take time to go off your clutch no time you ain't on my clock you know if you need me for this